my gosh, this is a classic song. Are you ready? Do you want to guess what it is? <laughs> So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about a little um, ease on your digestion. If you're a person who has digestive disorders, start not thinking that that's okay because that is the worst feeling. I was talking to someone this morning about this. We need to be investing time and energy and really a few dollars in cleaning out the colon, recolonizing the guts with good bacteria, you know, taking probiotics eating cultured foods, these type of things that put, put good bacteria in there to balance out the bad bacteria, you know? Um, also, mindfully chewing our food. How are we combining our food? I know some people out like food combining is a myth, but it is not for me. It's, it's been the difference in being able to breathe and not breathe some days, like I, I couldn't get my breath for poor digestion. Also, apple cider vinegar with the mother, because the mother equals live enzymes, helps to digest. It helps to up the hydrochloric acid in your tummy and break things down. So having a little shot of that ahead of time. Um, also, fennel tea, fennel bulb in your salad. Also, making dressings that are bulked up with celery. I know you all think you don't like this, but it's because either, number one, you don't have a high-speed blender. Number two, you're, you're buying very pungent celery. I like to use the lightest parts. Or number three, you've just not tried it because, really, it makes the perfect salty base a very neutral forum for all your other flavors funneling in. Plus, it helps with the sodium content and it helps gather moisture into the guts, thus brooming it out, you know. So I will be coming on a little bit with some delicious salad that will be easy on your digestion. So, see you later, alligators. <laughs> We're back in the kitchen of love and light. Welcome. And I want to talk about this. Um, I want to talk about digestion. And when you're having a salad or your evening meal, ways to have better digestion. This is a big deal for a lot of people. And I don't think a lot of people are addressing it. They're just like, oh, well, that's like not a big deal. Or it can control your dang life. Okay, so let's talk about this. I'm going to have a salad, and first of all, I'm going to choose for optimum digestion soft leafy greens like red leaf lettuce, butter leaf lettuce. Probably I would not start out with kale, dinosaur kale. Those kind of things can be harder to digest, and when I do eat them, I definitely do a chiffonade chop, which is where you, I have that on my channel, which is where you roll it up in like a, like a cigar style, and then you chop, and it makes it very, very small slivers ribbonette so to speak so anyway this is red leaf lettuce right here you can't tell but it is and on top of there you have fennel very small chopped do y'all see very tiny okay so basically fennel you don't want to overdo it if you're going to have a lot of other hard veggies you want to basically make sure to chop them really well okay really small um, the thing about fennel, I want to tell you a couple things about digestion, so get your paper and your pencil. Fennel for digestion, I have a whole video about fennel, okay? First of all, it keeps gas pockets from forming in your intestines, and I don't mean like, <sighs> we got gas, I mean gas that hurts up inside of you, you know, I'm not talking about, oh, so-and-so tooted which is funny, but you see what I'm saying? Like, it's painful gas. I'm talking about, this is a serious problem, okay? So stop goofing off about it. <laughs> anyway, keeps gas pockets from forming. Contains an oil that stimulates, um, stimulates, yes, yeah, stimulates digestion. Keeps and helps you absorb nutrients into your body. It's an antacid, it prevents bad breath, it prevents gas, it's antibacterial, and it helps with anemia, okay? It, it's a big deal. You can chew fennel seeds after your meal, and it's really helpful with this. Also, you can do fennel tea, which I love, and I love to put a little lemon in there, and it's a nice after-dinner treat. And furthermore, it kind of can signal you that 
eating's over, you know, because I find a lot of people um, eating way too close to bed. Like, I have, like to have a couple of hours in between so that my body can digest and be assimilating and resting, and then it can use its vital force to help me restore, rejuvenate, and relax during my sleep, not digest, you know. So, um, also, I want to tell you something else. Apple cider vinegar, which I've said before, ups the hydrochloric acid in your tummy. Helps you to digest. It has great potassium. It breaks down the food. It helps gas from forming. It helps from burping if you have a burping problem. And it helps you from feeling overfull. Helps from abdominal pain and cramp. And furthermore, I know a lot of people now, they, young people, they do like group dating and this kind of stuff. And girls like think they're guys. Like I don't think most guys enjoy girls belching and all these. Maybe it's just that I'm old school from the South. But let's keep the belching down, shall we, girls? Okay, so then we're also talking about celery. Celery um, helps with bringing water and and it's a sodium balance in the body clearly but it brings water into the intestines which helps bulk up matter and move it through which is a good thing right alkalizes is calming to the nervous system sodium is soluble and living and every cell is bathed in a salt water solution we need this though we need natural sodium you know from veggies and herbs in this case which is what celery is so also it relieves constipation is a diuretic and I don't mean a diuretic like you've taken Lasix tablets I'm talking about um, it's a diuretic that basically flushes out the old and lets, lets the new come in you know an, an ebb and flow of the moisture in the body which is important okay also leafy greens okay and they're soft and easy to digest you know, they've got omega-3 fatty acids, which is very important. They have a, um, amino acids, which help you build protein in the body, fiber, and they help also to steady the blood sugar, which is, I think, imperative, okay? Um, sugar, sugar regulating, bowel function promoting, and constipation relieving. You're talking to a person who not, used to not go to the bathroom, but once every three weeks, this is an issue, okay? It's an issue even when you're breaking it down to say your love life, okay? When you've got all that inside and you're already congested, like you just don't feel like doing it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know how else to say that, but when you're congested and you can't even move, all those things don't feel appealing, girls. So let's break it down. Let's break it down with digestion, shall we? So here we have our salad, okay? You like this bowl? Look at that. Okay, so we're going to make a dressing together. So let me put you up here on the almond butter, okay? And let me pick up the stuff you heard me drop. Um, I'm a little disorganized because I've got a, I've got a million things going on. In, and Stacy sent me this shirt. Look, is that not cute? Do y'all see? Life is better when you're dancing. Clearly it is. So let's make a dressing, shall we? Let's do it together. So we've got our, our Vitamix. People, y'all need a high speed blender. If you can even get like a neutral bullet, rock on. You know, if you can get a refurbished Vitamix, if you can get a um, blend tech is awesome. It, it's really important. Are you going to do this thing or not? You know, sell some of your dang purses and shoes at the yard sale. Quit going so many places driving just to drive. And quit buying Pepsi Cola for your kids. They'll get over it. You know, buy yourself a blender. How about that? Okay, so here we go. I mean, furthermore, like, turn off the air conditioning for a month. Sweat out some of your toxins and afford a blender at the same time. Bam. Okay, so we have one quarter cup of apple cider vinegar with the mother which is very important because okay so in here we've got a quarter of a cup of apple cider vinegar go with Bragg's because it's unpasteurized it has got the mother in there which is the enzymes that you want okay then you're going to go with two cups i really like these innards of the celery okay so this is a little over two cups then we have three really large dates and two tablespoons of um, almond butter. Okay, then we're going to have a little handful of fennel. Do y'all see that? This is about um, 
not even half a cup, and that was about a quarter cup of water. Let's blend this and see how it does, and then we're going to add a few other goodies to it, okay? So hold your horsies. down <laughs> okay so that is perfect like it is but I happen to have this handful of fresh basil which I will clearly be using and I have half of a burr, burr, jalapeno heat it up to your liking would you let's get the blend on that oh dang it's on the side there we go Okay, let's see what that tastes like. Maybe not a spoon. Oh, we have a spatula. Okay, let me show you. Do y'all see how creamy? Y'all want me to pour it in a dish? I think that's nice, don't y'all? Oh, yeah. Okay, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Baby, tonight, the DJ's got us falling in love again. Do y'all mind holding just a sec so I can get that up the side? Thank you for waiting. I do realize your time is valuable. But really, you needed a break anyway, didn't you? And this is what it looks like. Do you all see? So, we're going to have this huge salad right here. And we're going to have this huge dressing on top. And it's, it's basically going to be drowning in dressing, you know. And you can add some other goodies. If you add other goodies on there and you're working on your digestion, maybe a little slivers of um, celery, maybe some little cracked pepper on there. But what I'm saying is keeping it simple. You do not have to cram in two troughfuls of salad, okay? Start where you start and love yourself there. And basically, if you will chew well... And getting in really high quality food, that's all you need every dang day, you know. So, thank you for joining me, and I sure do love y'all. Up and up, buttercup. <laughs> Time we stop. Hey, what's that sound? Everybody, look what's going.